Hello YouTube, I'm Windraiser and today I'm coming to you with another Transformers review. Today I'm going to be looking at Transformers Titans Return Overlord. <laughs> so Overlord is basically the um, figure that was uh, the surprise figure that Sky Shadow became the pre-retool of. So this is what we were supposed to get first, but we got Sky Shadow. And then we got him. So, yay. So first we're going to take a look at the two tank modes. And they're basically identical. It's just uh, my Sky Shadow tank has ripple labels on him. They are the same tank. All the way around. The only difference is is the gun uh it just fit, feels with a wheat instead of a glossy paint like this is this is just like straight up i don't know what kind of paint but it just it feels weird in my hand very weird and from looking at my gun i already have for some reason i've got a scuff of neon green paint. Yeah. It was like that when I got it out of the box, so. But it's an all in all good figure. His Decepticon insignias are offset and crooked. So, yes, just like my Sky Shadow, he will be getting a uh, Reper label set as well. Now, where it takes place in difference is the Jets. I'm trying to hold you. Now the two jets, you can see the uh, differences. These fins here are these fins right here. The nose cone, the arms are all remolded and everything. Sorry I dropped that. Sorry you guys heard a loud noise. I do apologize. So, they're basically the same figure, just heavily retool of each other. And now, with, just like with the Sky Shadow, um, the jet and the tank do combine. But let's get a close-up of this jet mode. This is really cool. I never had a G1 Overlord. The only other G only, uh, only other Overlord figure I have is from my Kabaya kit. And he does have this little landing skip that comes down, so yay. Um, another thing I noticed is that, that this whole front nose cone um, just comes off. I don't know if it's supposed to do that. There's no instructions that, instructions that it says it's supposed to come off. So, yeah. So go ahead and open up the cockpit here. I can get my yellow dirt. Come here. Ugh. And we will pull out his Titan Master, Dreadnought. And I do love this little guy. He has paint. His face is painted. Yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, he's the same as Overlord's uh, little dude. I think. Yeah, they're both identical. Both the same little dudes. Just this one has a painted face. Um, now let me show you guys off his. Oh yeah, the other thing that's also different. Uh, when I had it like this, you notice that this arm is pushing that way. Okay. Well, there's a little tab here. Right here, my finger is. That's supposed to go into that ho little tiny hole. This will not click onto it. Um, it's like they shaved its clip part so now it just sits at uh, it doesn't go in all the way so I have a grand with a manufacturer flaw but that's the only one so I don't care so should show you off his combined mode you're gonna take you know take the skiff fold it up take these little panels here and these little um, indentate um, little clips 
I peg into little slots right here where my finger is. If I can see what I'm pointing at. Yeah, right there. And they just go on and get it. Like so. And there you go. This is how you combine these two. The only problem is it doesn't hold together well. So he just kind of sits there. He does have the divot, the clip function that Sky Shadow has, but he doesn't have that underneath his belly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go from this to base mode. So first we're gonna start with the tank, rip off the gun, put it off the side. And we also have him off the side as well. I'm gonna take uh, this black piece, so split these part off of it, push it forward take these apart fold them out rotate them 180 and fold them in and then you're gonna take this piece and rotate it all the way around you can take both sides and rotate them if you want that's your preference come under here open up the connectors and then we'll fold these out to the side. Alright, so there's half the base mount. Next, we'll take the jet, we'll take the front end, rip it off, rotate it, plug it back on. Mm, pardon me. Now we're going to take these green, these pieces of these green pe colors on them unhook them and fold them back. And the reason why we're doing this is because this joint right here unlocks or is unhindered by the, those two panels now. And in doing so, you just take this whole assembly, yeah, you just take this piece right here and then just fold it up. Now the cool thing about this is that underneath he has a beret of missiles so he's got uh, belly bombs but they sit down so we'll take this piece of the base and we'll slide it in and then we'll take this here well, the best way to do it for me to get to it is take the nose cut off and then put it back on and then we'll take the gun, put it right here in the center. And you can take this guy, and there is a post right up here that he can stand on. And he can. Oh, and we'll open this up. And there you have Overlord in his base mode. Now, out of the two base modes, I do like this. I will be getting the. Um, uh, add-on kit that I have been finding all over eBay that uh, is weapons and chest shoulder upgrade as well as um, the same weapons I got for Sky Shadow someone made the weapons for him along with these uh, radar dishes that will plug onto him oh pardon me so to go from this we can go from this straight to robot mode so we'll take Dreadnought here hold him up and fold them over. And there is Overlord's beautiful face. Okay. So go ahead and close this up. And we can rip this piece off. And we'll set this off to the side for right now. Take the gun. Set it off to the side. We're going to start with the legs. Close this up. Rotate it around. We'll fold these in. And then we'll open them. And we'll fold this in. So fold, open. This will accordion up on double hinge. So there it is, straight. That goes up and it goes down. And we'll fold that in. So I take the arms, pull them up to the side for right now. That way we can take the torso or the legs and swing them down. And now we're gonna take these panels and they're gonna lock back this uh, joint. 
keep that joint in place. So, I mean, you can move it once you to dislodge these if you want. You can do his little. I'm gonna shoot from my stomach. So, go to the legs. Bring them down. Stretch them out. Rotate them 180. Go ahead, fold out the fists, fold the purple wing down, and we'll fold this one back, and then you'll extend the arm. Do the same over here, fold down, fold back, fold back, extend. And then we'll take this piece right here, fold it all the way onto the back. Rotate the helmet, we'll flip it open, and we'll shove Dreadnought inside. Close it up. And there you have Overlord in his robot mode. I'll go ahead and add his gun, and we can add his little shoulder pylon. Now, this is a fun part to get to that peg. You have to fold these out, grab that, swing it down, and as you hold it, push the landing gear back up, so that way the peg pokes out. And then we'll poke, plug into the hole on either shoulder. And then we'll plug it on this hole. Come on. You did this earlier. There we go. And now you can reenact him where he launches it and whatnot. And there you have Transformers Overlord. Now I'll give you a size comparison of a robot that I do have in robot mode. And that will be my Sharkcon. No. He comes up to his knee. You tiny Sharkcon. And he has the same possibility as uh, Overlord. Overlord. Or. Not Overlord. This is Overlord. Overlord has the same possibility as Sky Shadow. So the full 360 in the head, a full, near full 360 in the arms, they do stop, or, no, you can't get them, because there is this hinge right here, so there is this hinge, and then there is a, another hinge, so you got one, and <coughs> Bicep swivel, 90 degree bend of the elbow, no wrist, no waist, legs can move forward that much, move back that much. <coughs> there is a telescope uh, out that far. There is a uh, Upper bicep uh, thigh swivel. 90 degree, almost 90 degree bend at the knee. And ankle tilt. You can get him into those dynamic poses if you want. Now, he does have another gimmick. Is the chest panels, they do open. Uh, he does have his G1 cannons and these will be missile launchers but they don't do anything this just molded there. You open up his chest plate and he has slots in his chest for two tight masters. So we're going to take six shots. And sky shadows. <coughs> he can close these up but they don't close all the way. He has triple tight master power. Now just be careful that you don't shove him in all the way, otherwise you won't be able to get him out. I showed off him only about a good, good amount of the way, so about that much is how I shove him in and push him a little bit so I still have room to grab the front of the face and then pull it out. So there you guys have it. 
there is the Transformers review of Transformers Titans Return Overlord. I'm Windraiser, and I'll see you on the next review.